Welcome to Salty Spa, a place where you can relax, be yourself, and that we make sure that the salt is not just in the bath, but also in your heart. Hey Greens, welcome back to Cash or Trash, a show where we pretty much explore at least two or three or more craft kits to see whether or not they are worth it. And the theme for today's kits are going to be spa. At least that's what I think spa is in my head. I've never been to a spa before. I should have a spa day. The first kit we're going to start with is a DIY candle kit. You know, to set the mood when you're starting to relax in the bath. And then we're going to make our way towards soap and lash mixology kit. I have no idea what they even mean by that. And then the last thing we're going to take a look at is a weird squishy soap kit. I have no- what is- what is a squishy soap, please? I know squishies are totally in right now, but what is the soap version of it? Guess we'll find out. Yeah. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, we are so close to 1 million subscribers! So make sure that you do subscribe, and if you are already subscribed, spread the word of the salt. I would definitely love to get there anytime this summer. At this point, I just gave up. I wanted it to... Uh, let's, let's, just, let's just get there. Our first product is this STMT, which stands for Simple Trendy Modern Touch. That is a really weird name to call your product. And this one costs about $18. One of the things that is pretty disappointing about this kit is that for $18, we are only able to make two candles. So already in terms of money worth, it's questionable. But wait. Is it fun and is it worth it? Sometimes the activity can take long and it can be enjoyable and be like, hmm, this is actually quite enjoyable. I do quite like it. And then sometimes you pay so much money, you're like, was that really it? So according to this kit, we get three fragrance droppers, a pen, two candle tins, and a recipe card. Apparently there's also sticker labels. All right, enough diddly did diddly, 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 enough talk. Let's get to the point, and let's see what we get inside. So here's what we get. A good batch of wax chips, two containers, one in a transparent kind of top, and the other one in a closed top, two wicks, four decorative wraps, four more decorative tops, popsicle sticks, a gold gel pen, Seems a little random. Three different scents. Lavender. <laughs> smells like toilet. Not like a dirty toilet, but you know those synthetic toilet. Maybe I should stop talking while I'm ahead. <laughs> it smells like toilet. A clean one. Sweet orange, which I love oranges. <laughs> smells like a lollipop orange. And then rose fragrance. <laughs> yeah, smells like rose. So of all the three scents, lavender is the one you want least as a candle. And we get two colorants in pink and blue. Oh, and a little mixy bowl too. All right, so for the instructions, I'm looking straight onto the pictures because I'm a basic green. There's a reason why I prefer Instagram over Twitter, because I like pictures. And right away, I saw that there's a glue gun. Let's take a look at the box real quick again. The box says, includes everything you need. Looks like we're starting off on the wrong foot. I mean, Zen mode, breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> All right, so while my glue gun is heating up, oh, 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 what is that? It feels like glue. So this thing on the inside is kind of like a scrapey glue. I think I'll use this tin because I might use the other one for another project. All right, so let's put our little glue over here and plop it right in the middle, like so. According to the instructions, I should take a microwave safe bowl and then put the wax chips inside. My biggest problem with this is that we're going to be left with unmelted wax stuck to the bowl. And my worry is that I'm going to have to wash it down the drain to try and get it unstuck, remelt it again, and all that stuff. So I don't want to put our waters at more risk, so I'm going to be using recyclable cups. That way at least I don't have to wash anything down the drain. I know, one way or another, something something, but you know, we do our best. So I went ahead and followed the instructions by putting half the bag of the wax chips in the cups, microwaving them for two minutes, stirring it, and then microwaving, mi mi microwaving it again for another minute. Word of warning, do not use any kind of cup because I smelled fire and this is what happened. 
So I'm going to switch into a microwave safe bowl and hopefully we don't get any kind of reaction from that. So here it is after two minutes. It doesn't seem to have melted at all. I'm gonna put it in for another minute and then see where we're at. Here it is after three minutes. Not a trace of melting. All right, let's see what it looks like at minute five. And here it is at minute five. Absolutely nothing is going on over here. Because I'm a curious little fella, I'm going to keep going until minute 10. Just to make sure that some of you aren't saying, Jackie, you're just not giving it enough time. You might it maybe too weak. The answer is no, no. I shall do it. And so here it is after 10 minutes of being in the microwave. It's just barely humid. The container is pretty hot. It's just not the right chips to be melted in the microwave. And it feels like the double boiler effect would be way more convenient than this. And as proof, even on their instruction sheet, you can see that they're holding the container above the melted wax, but the container itself has already hardened. So it's a lie. And so for a product that is well over $15, it starts our spa off in a very salty way. Which means that this, is it worth your cash? Nay. It goes in the trash. Any product that gives you instructions and fails at its own instructions with its own materials definitely gets a 0 on 10 dorks. We should not tolerate these kinds of crap kits because they take advantage of your money. Our next victim, I mean review, Soap and Lash Mixology Kit. As you can see, this kit costs about $3. One of the things that worries me just a little bit is that the drawings on top look like stickers. So I'm curious to see how we're supposed to bring stickers into the bathtub. And if we look in the back, again, it says, Includes everything you need. I feel like I'm starting to get an allergy towards that sentence because they obviously don't know what everything means, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, the kid on the box looks pretty happy, so I hope we're as happy as that. Unless the salt <coughs> Oh, you see, I didn't even do that bird. The salt knows when to come up and play. Let's play. Let's see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. A mold with really bumpy and lumpy shapes. Two soap cubes. I hope they're just easy glycerin. Two extremely weak colorants. I mean, there's barely any color in there. It almost looks like mouthwash. Two different ropes. Some sticker sheets. I called it. Oh no, oh no. They give us glitter. Let's check the ingredients real quick. So for the glitter, it says aluminum powder along with all, the, all these other things. But just so that you're aware, any glitter that has aluminum powder should not go into your bathtub. These things are environmentally dangerous. Companies should really stop including powders and different kinds of glitters that shouldn't be going in the ocean. <laughs> We need to look after our environment, dudes. Come on. So obviously this is not going to go in the soap. Use it for resin. And again, it says before you begin, you need a microwave safe bowl, not included. I called it. It's not everything you need. All right, so now we need to cut our soap in half. Again, they didn't put any indents on the soap because they gave us everything we need. So here they are cut in half and they said to put it in for 30 seconds. Good news is the soap actually melted. So now they said to put it in the molds first and then add the colorant. So let's let's do that quickly. All right, so let's add the colorant just so your grains are aware of the difference in the color. Here's the colorant that they give us versus the colorant that came in the candle kit. I highly doubt it's gonna be as nice as the box, but what do I know? Wow. That's like no color in there at all. They don't even give us any scent. I just realized. Let's go crazy and add a little bit of every color. That's a great idea. I'm with that. All right, so here I go mixing. There is no color. This one is barely blue. Look at that. 
Oh, oh, oh no. Whereas if we had put this colorant, which I'm not going to use because it's not skin safe, but then again, who cares about the soap? Why is this spa day turning into a saltiness day? And now before putting anything, they said to put some rope into the actual soap and hold it there for about 60 seconds. So here we are 10 minutes later, we can start unmolding it. And there we go. Here's our first soap. It was at this moment that he knew. <laughs> Just so that we're clear, this blue on the box is not this blue. Look how transparent that is. That is great that it's transparent, but that's not the promise they made on the box. And mind you, I've abused it. I put way more than the two drops that they recommended. Again, I put so much of the pink, but it's still transparent. And I put a lot of blue in this one. Oh my god. Yeah. There we go. Yo. Now it's time for the tattoos. And yes, they are soap tattoos that we're going to stick on there by putting a damp paper towel right on top for about 30 seconds, and then it should, in all theory, transfer. Right? All right, so here's another problem. Dang, have it. So we're supposed to put this face down on the design, but what they don't prepare you is that the back part where you're putting the actual rope, that is where you're going to be transferring your design. So you have to deal with the rope sticking out and putting the design. I'm gonna do it anyway, so let's, let's do the doing. All right, so it's been longer than 30 seconds because I want to be generous, so you don't say that I'm mean, because I'm not, at least not right now. All right, so let's see this tattoo soap. Wow. Am I surprised? No, because the back part is lumpy bumpy. We did somewhat get a bit of a transfer, but that would have been a really cool effect. Time for the rainbow, and oh, oh, kind of cool. So if the surface is smooth, it will actually transfer. That's just something you need to keep your mind on. So now the question is, is it worth your cash or is it trash? For $3, does the soap work? Yes. Does it melt? Yes. Are you getting an end product? Yes. Is it similar to that of the box? No. So as long as you're aware of all its downfalls, I would give this kit a 6 on 10. So it would be worth your cash for $3. You really can't expect much. Next up for review in the Salty Spa, this squishy soap kit. I have no idea what squishy soap is, but if there's anything I have the most hope on, I don't know why, it's gotta be this kit. I think it's probably because the last kit I got in a baggie like this really impressed me. The unicorn looks absolutely gorgeous. It even looks like it has a piping bag. I don't even know. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen in this kit. All right, let's see what we get inside. And as you can see from Toys R Us Canada, this kit is $9.99. We get a pack of rice flour, a mold. Ah, dang it. I was really hoping we would decorate it, but I guess this is another transfer. And instructions. Oh, and we also get liquid soap. I almost forgot. Gomen nasai. Ooh, this is, oh, this is interesting. So according to the instructions, we're going to be cooking this soap. Luckily, I have a steamer pot because they want you to use a steaming pot. So what we're supposed to do is mix the rice and liquid soap in the same bowl. Once it starts feeling like pizza dough, then we can mold it into the cookie cutter of the unicorn. So far, this smells like a really sweet berry. It's not too invasive, but it's just, it smells really good. So here's hoping so far, this might be a pretty good one. Fingers crossed. All right, I can't seem to turn on my face camera just because my hands are so dirty. So what we're supposed to do is just cut it from this shape and then that's, that's pretty much it. Then we throw it into the steamer. And they do say if it's a little too cracked, you can take some water and smooth them out before steaming it. All right, so as it turns out, I don't have a plate small enough to fit in here. I have a bowl, which I guess should suffice because I didn't know I was gonna cook today. So here it is as per instructions. Now we just wait 10 minutes. Moments later. All right, so here's our squishy soap. It doesn't feel like it's squishy. It just feels like a, a cookie, a steamed cookie. 
And it's time to put our tattoo. I don't know what it is about these transfer designs. Instead of letting me do the design themselves, they're making me put this tattoo thing on there. So as they mentioned, I'm putting just a little bit of water right on top and then placing the design right on there. Voila. They said to put my wet palm. And now we wait. More moments later. The only thing left to do is to take a very dampened paper towel and just keep rubbing the back until it comes off. Now for the moment of truth. And that is one pink unicorn. I do have to admit, I am impressed that it actually stuck on the soap. But according to the package, this should have been a white unicorn and not a transparent one like we have over here. All right, let's see the soapiness of it in the water. I'm not going to use this just yet because I made a second one with the leftovers. And the first question is, is it squishy? I mean, the package itself is selling on the fact that it's a squishy. So here it is. And the answer is, it's moldable. It's not really squishy in the sense of a toy squishy, so it won't take its shape back up. It will, however, take the shape that you squeeze it into. And I have to still admit that it does smell pretty good. Next is the soap test. How foamy or how soapy is this? It's soapy, but not very bubbly. And oddly enough, it has this kind of slimy texture afterwards. You'll probably have to keep washing it with water to get rid of that slimy texture. So now the question is, is it cash or is it trash? It works. It's an activity that does take longer to actually cook than put together. So now that you know its flaws and what it entails, it's entirely up to you, which means it does not go in the trash. Which one of these three spa craft kits that didn't, didn't really relax us? Which one of these three did you have the most hope on? Let me know in the comment section below. Before I begin shoutouts, my friend Casey Golden is so close to 1 million subscribers, so go ahead and give her some love. I'll add her link in the descri description box below. Today's shoutouts go to Addison War, Chloe Cantillon, Creative Kara, It's Drawing Time 12534, Malaysia Diamond, Helser JM, Kiki Draw, Falling for Art, Foxtrot, I love that you combined both Delightful and My Creations, and Dark M94 and Babies. You okay, Angel? He's still scared of the lighting. Remember, if you want a shout out in any of my videos, they are random, hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of a video's release. <laughs> or hashtag NerdyCraft on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. Angel approved. Right, Burb? If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a YouTube video that it thinks is just right for you, Make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.